Hey everyone, I'm back again. I'm Joan, and this time around, I've got my glasses on. Yay. And really, you don't have to So, let me start again. Hi everyone, it's Joan. I'm back again today on Reading with Joan. I have Jedida and Jemima. They are the co host and today I've had a hmm day mm. with both of them. <gasps> yeah, you know this kind of hmm day. So, but I'm grateful because um, they are the joy of my life for You're some very time. Lucky to have a day. I am very lucky to have a day. I'm very lucky to have them for some time. I feel like hmm <laughs> really? <laughs> She's still dreaming. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're going to invite uh, Amy to continue to read for us. Uh, Pressing controller, her book, and I hope you enjoy the next five minutes as Amy reads for us. So, Amy, your turn uh, to go on. Okay. What? Who? Who could often be? found in the computer room. He was standing behind Ellie, peering at the screen. Browser, said Ellie, not turning around. I don't know, sorry. Sterling looked at his younger sister, Scarlet, burst out laughing, laughing. Safari, oh dear, oh dear, he said together. Ellie raised her eyes. He raised his own back. Scarlet, Scarlet, very technologically, and very proud. This was one of the reasons why, as far as Fred and Ellie were concerned, they were sort of friends rather than friends. Is that wrong? said Ellie. Well, it's not wrong, but if you want to be truly up to speed, said Scarlet. Both designs widen speed wise, said Scarlet, as in download speed she added helpfully then i think we should suggest wouldn't we scarlet scarlet nodded eagerly oh girl oh said she said quick snap internet reading polina's world browser said Sterling, but for me, talk of the browser truth be at this moment in time, Cyber Dodo. Oh, cool, Cyber Dodo. Never heard of it, seriously. Why does it say that? Twitter, said Twitter. Twitter, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We went, we went. What are, what are you, a computer? added Sterling. No, Cyber Dodo is what everyone recommends on. Instagram, said Scarlet. Wolf Dream, Black, Wolf Channel, Pinterest, Team, Internet, There's There's Black, Swimming Ships with Head. Chat Whispers. Chat Whispers, of course, Ellie, who had continued to stare at the screen. All this was done. Turn around. Yeah. At last, Sterling, can I ask you a question? Are you even on social media? They looked at each other, they shook their heads. Are you, in fact, even allowed to use a computer without your parents' super supervision? That is that over again. They shook their heads. Our mom says we can when we're in year five, said Scarlett quietly. This was the other reason that Sterling and Scarlett were only sort of friends. They were in year, years three and two. There were eight. Okay, I believe, said Ellie, turning back onto the computer. Then perhaps some of the recommendations can wait, at least until, well, 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 this wasn't said by Sterling or Scarlett. In fact, when Ellie and Fred turned around, Sterling and Scarlett had vanished. Standing there, Instead, were the other twins in the school, Isa and Morris Boxit. Oh, no, said Fred. Tell the other twins. 
Like Fred and Ellie, Isa and Morris were the only boy and a girl. And therefore, also non identical twins, but unlike Fred and Ellie, they were really obviously not non identical. Isla was very, very pretty, tall for her age, and slim, with blue eyes and a tiny nose and long hair that she sh- would sometimes sweep back across her face as if she was in a shampoo after. Morris looked like a badly shaven gorilla. New pupils at the school therefore to be to be fronted which they were right to do. The person they really needed to be frightened was of Eliza. Isla. Because Morris and Eliza Forsyth were the brackish school bully. They prided themselves on it. They spent a lot of time working on their bullying. They even had even had to talk about their bullying. And with, within that group, no more students of the actual work. He threw the Chinese brooms, dead legs, and monkeys. It was Isla who was the mastermind. Well done. Well done, Amy. Thank you for beautiful read. Although I was struggling to hear because of some sound <laughs> feedback. <laughs> what well, was the noise? Well, that's really fast. She read really fast. Like you. That was slow and then it's only one quick. Yeah. Like you. Please ask your question, Daniel. Leave this one. What's your question, dear? Um, um, my question is. Huh? Uh, I don't have a question. You don't have a question. Oh man, you gave them Christmas. Look at yes, <laughs> yeah, a Christmas gift. They're so excited. Ah, it's exactly this one. Maybe just <laughs> she really doesn't want to answer any question these days. Okay, now it will soon be your turn on your own reading. Okay, so Jed, are you going to read for us first? Um, next five minutes before we play the music. While we go out to we'll let Jed be on stage, you will not read everything because it's a long story. So be watching me. I will back on a new winter stuff, okay? And read loud and clear. Sit in the middle, honey. Pass in me. Who wrote it? It's told by Pippa Gifford, illustrated by Thomas Rackett. Ra- an old miller died, leaving his mill to his eldest son. He left his donkey to the, to, the, to his middle son and the cat to his youngest son. Jack, we two older ones will work together, said the older son. We can make flour at the mill. Then we can take the flour to the market on the donkey. We don't need a cat. Goodbye, Jack. That's not fair, said Jack. What am I supposed to do with a cat? You'll be rich and I will be poor. That's not fair at all. Bad luck, said his brother. But Jack didn't know that his cat wasn't an ordinary cat. His cat was the one and only cat in boots. Puss didn't just wear boots. Puss, Puss didn't just wear boots. He could talk. He said, no other class is as, no other cat is as clever as me. I'll make you rich. Just wait and see. Puss took a basket. He went to a field and threw them grains of corn. Then Puss did. Rabbits came to nibble the corn and trap. Puss caught three rabbits. Puss and Boots gave, gave Jack one rabbit to pick for their supper. I might not be rich, but at least we will eat well tonight, said Jack. Thank you, Puss. While Jack was busy 
chopping onions. Plus tip the other two rabbits down to the roof, down to down the roof to the king's palace. Puss in Boots knock knocks at the palace door, which was opened by the king himself. Puss in Boots, Puss in Boots bow very low. Your marvelous, your marvelous ma Majesty, here's a present from my master. He said, "Oh, how kind!" said the king. "Tell me, who is your master?" My master is Marquis of Carabas. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed, said the king. Indeed, said Possum Boots. He had made it all up, but he looked at the king and didn't blink. So the king believed him. Then do please find the Marquis for me, he said, said the king. Possum Boots purred as Jack ate their rabbits. This is all very nice, said Jack. Possum Boots still want to be rich, but I would still like to be rich. You know, ah, uh, master, you must learn to trust me. Said Puss. I will still make you it. Just wait and see. Next day, you want us to stop that? Just wait and see. So we'll have to see what Puss and Puss do tomorrow. Okay, good reading. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so, you for do you have a question for the kids today? Let's bring Amy back. Uh, 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 yeah. What's the question for today? My question is, what did Puss, what did Puff catch? What did Puss catch? Or how many did he catch? What and how many did he catch? We're listening. What did Puss catch and how many were they? I'm just looking for the page. Pardon? Okay. Yeah, just looking for the page. I know. Oh, just huh? Uma, do you know the answer? What did Paul? What did Paul catch, and how many? Amy, do you know the answer? No. No. Play two. Okay. Do you know the answer? Three fish. Oh. oh, you got one heart right. Like oh. a real yeah. Okay. Do you want us to leave the question for next time or you want to give us the answer? Dad? Dad? You want to give us the answer? Um, how many did he catch? What did, did he got catch? That right. How? What did he? What did he catch? He, he got how many right? Rabbit. So did he catch three rabbits? Yeah. Three rabbits. Okay, that's good. Interesting. Rabbits. I've never had that. Hmm. The sound. I don't know. It just sounds cool. You had it. You had it when you were my friend. You did. Yes, you ate it when you were in my womb, so you ate the rabbit with me inside my womb. No, you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Jay, can you please play the violin so we kids can have some music? Tell us what you're playing. I'm playing lightly, bro. <laughs>
Well done. Yay, bravo. Leader J explaining life in the room. Life in the room. I'm trying to stretch out from there. Okay. Thank you for your for your explanation. Can you move? Now we're going to introduce Jeremy to sing while sing. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. What did I say? <laughs> Can you move out of the space? And I'm going to leave so, <laughs> so I can see. Big J can. Whatever you want to do, no, do. <laughs> Today I am reading Science Geek and a secret log book from the bottom of, of page 151. Wow. Oh. Yes, it is. We've gone three quarters, I think. <laughs> oh well, back to the story. Those are all things chimpanzees have too, too. But chimpanzees also have a skull and teeth and a jaw and lungs and a brain and fingers and toes and a thumb which can move in any direction. Only monkeys and people can have that. When you're ready, add your findings to the big poster, Mr. Nolan said. Hey, look, said Archie. That's weird, said Christy. The rest of the class were playing football, but Archie, Christy, Anna, and I were looking at the poster Mr. Nola was stuck onto the tent. We had researched a lot of different animals and their cats. Bacteria, flatworms, lancet fish, sharks, reptiles, platypuses, apes, humans. There were many similarities between them. It looked like they were all related somehow. Only there was a scale of complexity and lots of variety. Bacteria, bacteria with tails, a flatworm, fish with gills, fish with tart lungs, which could also survive out of the water, fish with fins that were also used as legs. Animals that were able to live in water and on land. Reptiles, mammals. It looks as if they are all connected, as if they have a common ancestor. And it clicks her tongue, just like Mum does when I drop the jam jar onto the floor. That may seem so, she said, but it isn't. It wouldn't be possible for a, for a monkey to emerge from fish. If I lock up my hamster long enough, it won't turn into a human being. No, she was right. The theory of evolution hasn't even been proven. It's just a theory, she concluded. Come on, Art, she said. Let's go play some football, Sam. I'll teach you all about the fending. I'll come in a minute, I said. I just want to send one more email. From Sam Billington to Uncle Jack. Subject, not proven. Hi, Uncle. Is it true that the theory of evolution hasn't been proven? Because it's just a theory? That's what Anna says. From Professor Jack Scott McNeil to Sam Billington. Subject, reply, not proven. No, that's not true. It has been proven that animal and plant species are formed through a long process of evolution. The first three billion years, there are only teeny, teeny little beings, single cell organisms. And in the past half a billion years, all bigger species of animals and plants have evolved. There is no doubt anymore that this happened really. There are countless indications of this from different fields of science. You can see it in fossils, you can see it in DNA. Time and time again, it is confirmed the theory of evolution is sound. Rock solid. And so, theory doesn't just mean it's a nice idea. Cheers, Uncle Jack. From Sam Billington to Uncle Jack. Subject, reply, not proven. But if you look an animal away for a very long time, let's say an elephant, could it change into a different species? Can you test if the evolution theory works? From Professor Jack Scott McNeil. To Sam Billington, subject, reply, not proven. Yes, that's possible. You can lock up a family of elephants and wait until they've changed into a different species. But you need to be extremely patient and wait for about 100 million years. 
It takes a while before an elephant can have a baby, 12 years, and the baby will look quite like its mum and dad. Evolution works in very small steps. If you wanted to watch evolution at work, you'd be better off using bacteria. Bacterium is split into two daughters after no less than 20 minutes. And after 40 minutes, a bacterium has already four granddaughters. And after one hour, she's a great granny of eight little ones. And after 12 hours, there'll be over 68 billion great, 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 great grandchildren. And those are likely to be a diff bit different than their great, 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 great granny as bacteria evolved. Do you remember that Auntie Janet was really ill last winter? Probably not. She is suffering from a throat infection, and the GP gave her a medicine that would kill the bacteria in her throat, antibiotics. But it didn't do anything. Auntie Janet just kept having a sore throat. Antibiotics kill most bacteria. Sometimes there's one bacteria that changes just a little bit, and it won't be affected. This bacteria just carries on splitting despite the antibiotics. So your throat infection doesn't go away. These changing bacteria pose a real problem for doctors. From Sam Billington to Uncle Jack, subject and fly, not perfect. So Auntie Janet is living proof of how sound the theory of evolution is. Smiley emoji. From Professor Jack Scott McNeil to Sam Billington, subject to fly, not perfect. Exactly. Okay. That's all I read today. Ah! <laughs> Why? He's just screaming? I'm so good at reading. Oh, because they're so good at reading. No. What? Yes. What? Yes. Yes. What? Yes. What? Yes. What? Yes. what are they feeling like? They are feeling like they are so good at reading. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Please give me a break. <laughs> Triple Mom is super good at reading. Peace is excellent. Amy is super B. Not just you guys alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. True. I thought you said not you guys. Not just like, you guys alone. Please. All the kids um, on these shows are friends. super readers. They are yes. excellent yes. readers. Okay, so with that said, can you please tell us why is this girl shaking to me? <laughs> And I didn't give her anything to drink. <laughs> I I just woke up on my own. I didn't give her anything. Oh, I don't understand. Eh? Okay. Mommy, don't go all Nigerian again. Okay, okay. I should not go Nigerian. You're going to start off. Oh. Is that your we can all understand? Okay, is that a question? Let's live in Nigeria. So. First of all. I thought you had the question already. I do, but I forgot the question. Oh, oh. I remember. Oh, oh. What was the subject of the emails that, that Uncle Jack and Sam Billington were sending to each other? Okay, we the have subject. somebody raising up our hands here. Yeah. Okay, don't say the answer until both of them answer. Oh, yeah, what is it? Okay, that's what you said. Who else? Okay, Toto, what, what's the subject? Uh, uh, thank you, <laughs> She's got it. Okay, please, do you have an answer? Huh? Okay, Amy, do you have an answer? Nope. nope. Pardon? Proven. Okay, Jamie, what's the answer? It's not proven. It's not, not proven. proven. Not proven. <laughs> you not got proven. it. You almost got it, but it's not proven. So you put the not. It's not proven. It's not proven. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, proven. Not <laughs> it proven. It isn't proven. It's not proven. Let's okay, so what's the second question? Do you have any? What happened to Auntie Janet last winter? What happened to Auntie Janet last winter? Anybody can answer? Ah, Jed, what happened to Auntie Janet last winter? Peace, you have an answer? Let's unmute Peace. Can I do it, please? Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Uh, I don't really have an answer. Okay. Keep a mom, do you have an answer? 
Boom, ya, yeah, Mananza. Okay, Jed, what's the answer? It is a sore throat, an infection in her throat. A throat infection, yes. She had well done. A, yeah, well done. Even though she was rolling on the rug and I was winking my eyes at her, hey, Jed, stop rolling. <laughs> She was still, still listening, so she heard. So that's fine. So that means that even in your jingis, 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 and hurricane, and hurricane, and hurricane, Jed, <laughs> you are still listening. Uh, that's a good note to end. Oh, that's a good note to end. Okay, thank you, guys. And oh, this hurricane. No, 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 no,